The New Orleans Saints at 133 finally have their quarterback. It's Ian Book out of Notre Dame. Danny <laughs> Cannell, we knew they were looking for one. Maybe it was Kyle Trask earlier in the draft. Uh, not the case. It's going to be uh, Ian Book. Yeah, this is a little curious. I think this might be a reach, but I think with Jameis Winston's inconsistencies, Taysom Hill, I do not think is the franchise quarterback of the future. Like, you got to take some shots in there. You got to have some stability. And I think Ian Book brings that. Um, I would have had a couple other names ahead of him. Felipe Franks, maybe uh, more athletic and just a higher upside. But I think you're going to get a really solid, smart quarterback who's improved every single year. He's been a, one, a winner his entire time at Notre Dame, taken to the playoffs twice. Um, I love the uh, kind of how he dealt with some adversity. I mean, he did beat Clemson the first time around in the regular season. It, and when they played in South Bend, overcame a really bad play going in, turned it around with a 90-yard uh, go-ahead touchdown drive to follow it up. He's played on the biggest stage of the game. So I like it from that perspective. I think they might have been able to wait another round. But, hey, if you like Ian Book, and I don't know if Drew Brees has any input with Sean Payton, but I do know that he thought Ian Book would be a nice potential NFL player, that, hey, you take him when you, when you have the opportunity to. So – I don't know if it makes sense where they took him, but from the perspective of, you know, a fit and all that, I think it makes sense. Yeah, Ian Book, to me, I think Danny was being nice there, uh, is not an NFL caliber quarterback in terms of reading coverages, uh, presence in the pocket, uh, dealing with pressure, throwing the football accurately. Like uh, all the, the key attributes that you need to play quarterback, Ian Book, I think is well below par. I think... Felipe Franks would have made more sense. He has more upside as a passer. We saw him play really well at Arkansas in 2020 after starting his career at Florida. I'm wondering, though, if Sean Payton kind of has a type because this is similar to a Taysom Hill runaround quarterback that you could use. You could throw him passes because he is a good scrambler and he's pretty athletic. But to me, Ian Book is the most developmental quarterback that's been picked in this draft. But I bet that that's why... Sean Payton went after him because he, see, he, he loves the intangibles of big game experience, athleticism, smarts, and he might think, well, I can develop this guy, and I could get him to have better footwork. And if he's got better footwork, then maybe his accuracy improves and his decision-making can improve. And he looks kind of, you know, he's not the tallest quarterback. He's six feet tall. Drew Brees was six feet tall. So what Chris said about maybe him having a type, mm -hmm. I, I, I kind of get that. But I still don't think this is somebody who's going to end up being the starting quarterback for the New Orleans Saints this year or any year after. Someone that fantasy managers are probably going to ignore outside of two quarterback leagues. Well, Chase Daniel is still cashing checks. He's thrown 261 <laughs> passes because Sean Payton drafted him right. in the NFL draft. So I, I, I think that there is uh, this could be very good for Ian Book. I guess he didn't draft him. He, Sean Payton taught him. So, yeah, Ian Book may be a backup quarterback for the next decade. I mean, love yourself, a guy that Sean Payton loves, you know, <laughs> sub six foot. I mean, I know he's listed as six foot, probably a little generous there on the listing. Jamie, what do we think about Ian Book to the Big Easy? It's interesting. You know, it's certainly interesting to see what's going to end up happening there and do they ever give him a chance to play. Look, Jameis has to prove that he can be the guy. Taysom Mill has to show that he can do what he did in the five-game sample size when Breeze was out with the rib injury. And Sean Payton has shown you he doesn't care what we think. All he cares about is what he sees and what he thinks is going to be the best for his team and certainly will go against the grain. So if he thinks Ian Book is the right quarterback for the Saints at some point during the season, we're probably going to see him out there. I hope not. I'd rather see Jameis. I'd rather see Taysom Hill. They offer different things, but uh, you never know with Ian Book. Again, I, don't, I think the guy said it best. Not somebody you have to draft outside of Superflex or two quarterback leagues if you have deep rosters for rookie-only draft. But Sean Payton is certainly one to be unconventional, and this could be an unconventional player for him at some point during the season. Chris Trapasso given his first D in the fourth round of the CBSSports.com draft tracker at a D-plus for Ian Book at pick 133. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.